Sounds like false news. Sounds like fake news? Yep. Okay. So either stay in the house or get a better Secret Service team yeah, that's going to save you. If uh, Donald Trump was standing here right now, what would your message to him be? Stay on Stay behind subject. plexiglass. What's going on, everyone? James Klug here. Sunday, September 15th was the second assassination attempt on Donald Trump in the past two months. So what do Americans think about this? Today, we're going to find out. Let's go talk to some people. Huge shout out to our friends over at Allegiance Gold for sponsoring this video. Breaking news was a second assassination attempt on Donald Trump. Did you hear about it? Uh, from my husband, yeah. Okay. I just heard about it. I was at work all day, so I just heard about it. Yeah. Give, me your, give me your initial thoughts on that. I mean, what do you think about this? Second, in, second time in, in about two months. Okay, I think that our country is in serious jeopardy. There is a lot of crazy issues going on. There's a lot of crazy people out there. And whether people like Trump or dislike Trump, that's one thing. But trying to take a man's life, that's a whole other. Um, you know, it's just, I don't know what's wrong with people these days. And it's just sick and it's sad. And as a Christian, I pray for these people. I pray for him. I hope that he's okay. That's got to be terrifying. He has children. I, I have children. We're, we're just humans, right? And to have somebody who wants to kill us, it's just sad, man. It's sad. Now, it's still a developing story, so I'm not asking people anything specific on it. I just want your initial thoughts. So what are your thoughts about this? Number two in the last two months. Well, obviously, someone out there to get him. Uh, if not a per particular person, it's the, uh, the atmosphere is uh, against th th this candidate. There is evil power trying to get rid of this candidate. It's uh, very pure and simple. Are you guys supporting Donald Trump this election? Of course, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm pro-America. Pro-America choice. That's what it is. Is Donald Trump the more pro-America candidate in this race? Yes. He's the only one. Not the more. He's the only one pro-America. The other ones are working for other... Other agendas. Agenda. Other, it's not for the Americans. Do you guys hold the media and their coverage of Donald Trump at all responsible for the assassination attempts that we've been seeing? Yes or no? I don't hold them directly responsible, but they're creating an atmosphere uh, how do you say it? Uh, they're creating a, uh, a, uh, an atmosphere of, I don't want to say violence, but, but anti-Trump atmosphere. One percent of one percent of these people listening will, uh, will, will do what they, they did today and, and a month ago, two months ago. Final question for you guys, and thank you so much for your time. I just want to know if Donald Trump was here right now, what would your message to Donald Trump be? My message to him is to lay down don't do any more, uh, uh, any more campaigning. You don't need it. People are, who uh, they, I'm sure the independents are, will decide at the last minute. And I'm, I have, a, I have my guts feeling the most of the independent will vote for him. He doesn't need to campaign or anything like that. That's my, uh, that's my opinion. He doesn't need to let him. He has to lay down. You remember last time Joe Biden. He was, he laid down in his uh, house the whole time and, and he won. The basement campaign. Yes. Basement campaign and he won. So uh, right. it's not that you go and uh, try to get votes. People who attended the campaign are already voting for him. Sounds like false news. Sounds like fake news? Yep. Okay, what do you think? Do you think it sounds like fake news? Yeah. We're going with fake news. Wait, okay, so you guys, if it was, if it really happened, would that be a bad thing? Two assassination attempts yes. in, in two months? Yes, that's a bad thing. Okay. America, we, we're better than that. If Donald Trump was standing right here, what would your message to him be? Quit being mean to people. Do you think that's why people keep trying to kill him? No, no. But we stand on your values and your uh, proposals, not being mean. Don't be mean. Do you hear anything about it or no? No. no oh, yeah, yeah. Anything. Yeah, so second one, um, essentially just to break it down, Trump was at the golf course. Somebody was at a hole waiting for him, I believe hole five, but the story's still developing. Right. There's a lot out already. Yeah, yeah. And the person was waiting there. Secret Service started engaging the individual at about like 300 to 500 yards. That's what yeah. is, at least was reported. It could right. change. Uh -huh. And then uh, the individual ran away, got in a car, drove off. They're now captured. They're alive and they had an AK-47 uh, scope on it, a couple bags kind of blocking 
you know, for uh -huh. protection, I guess. Yeah. And uh, that's what we know right now. Right. But my man, let me know what you think. Two assassination attempts in the past two months. What the heck is going on? Uh, it's just a result of, of chaos and extremists from both sides, and all of us in the middle are eating sh because of it. Yeah. Yeah. And you more you more center. Where, where do you stand politically? In the middle. Yeah, I'm. I, I mean, historically, I'm. I'm a, a, a conservative from the fiscal side and more liberal on the social side. Uh, the social side. That's a big side. Pardon me. That's a big side. Social side. Yeah. 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 And, and it's. It's. You're, you're more. You'd be more. more maybe center real. left. Maybe more. Maybe something yeah, like that. Center. Well. Center left, center right, depending on the topic. You know, it's it's. I don't think uh, center left or right is a bad place to be. Center or uh, uh, left far, right far, bad. Um, it's not good for anybody. It's not good for one another. I mean, the, I, I get the yin versus the yang, but everybody in the middle, the the 85 to 95 percent of us in the middle that are paying for everything, that's what pisses me off. But I'm old enough at this point too. This too shall pass. You know, we've had the past 10 years calling Donald Trump Hitler over and over again, Nazis, yeah. stuff like that. Do you think that that rhetoric has turned up the heat to where things like this are now happening yeah. to Donald Trump? Well, what do you think about that position? What do you well, think? I'm, frankly, I'm surprised it hasn't happened sooner. Um, regardless of the position, when you go that extreme, you're inviting that kind of response, not, not, not on purpose, but you are. But because because of your extreme left or right, you're you're ticking off the extreme left or right of the people that want to go out and shoot you for that extreme. Are you talking about? You mind if I ask? Are you talking about the extreme reporting on him, or are you talking no, about his extreme, extreme position? The extreme attitude, the, the extreme position. Oh. The okay. extreme position. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was talking to you about the media, not about him. Oh, oh. Uh, media. So you, do you see him as kind of a yeah. Hitler? <laughs> In many ways. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, would you, if you could go back in time, would you kill Hitler? I, I have a post from Libs of TikTok that's going to be a right-leaning uh, outlet. MSNBC's Alex Witt argues the Trump campaign needs to turn down the rhetoric now that Donald Trump has been shot at for a second time in three months. Uh, do you? Ex it says, "Quote: Do you expect there to be calls from within the Trump campaign to tone it down?" Do you think that that is a reasonable response after an assassination attempt or no? What do you think? I, I, I would say possibly because I, I would say, um, yeah, go ahead and ask. And yeah, we'll go ahead and consider it. Um, why don't you do the same thing? And, um, and then we'll sit back and, and I would say, my answer personally, I would say yes to that. I'll, I'll dial it back and so will you, right? So you're looking at both sides when it comes to that conversation. That's both, not the uh, argument that was being made there, but you're no, saying your answer would be that was, that was both that sides. Side of the argument. But yeah, it's both sides because what, who, car, who cares who started it at this point? Both sides need to throttle back. However, if the left were to, fall, were to throttle back and the right not, then that's wrong. Then if I'm in the left going, look, we tried and you just kept going. So nope, we're gonna ramp it right back up. Final thoughts to Donald Trump. If he was here right now, what would your message to him be? What do you think? Go away. Period. Go away. I mean, there's two routes here when it comes to people's thoughts of what's going on. You know, people are, are, are either looking at the continued rhetoric that Donald Trump, J.D. Vance, the Republicans are worse than Hitler, or it's something is going on here. They're trying to stop him from running. And, and those are the two responses that I hear running. primarily is what I'm saying. They're trying to stop him from running. They don't want him to be president because he's shown how crooked everybody is. Power too. I mean, it's all about power. So I think they understand that if he takes over power again, this, what, this time knowing more than he did the first time he was president, that it's going to, a lot of stuff is going to be exposed. And I think they're worried about that. Plus, they don't want to lose the power. I mean, it's all about the power and the money. So this guy is a threat to all that. It's a threat to their way of life, their establishment type thought. Their and, money. and it's, you know. Their money. Yeah. Well, I got a question for you guys then. When it comes to that, I mean, do you think that this is going to be the last time that there's an assassination attempt before the election? Or do you think there's going to be more? I think there'll be more. 
I hope not. I hope the first one was the only one, but now with today, I, I don't know. I don't trust any of these guys, so who knows what they're capable of. Obviously, they're capable of a lot because this is twice they've tried it. So, If uh, Donald Trump was standing here right now, what would your message to him be? Stay on Stay subject. Behind plexiglass. You guys, let's take a few moments to talk about my good friends over at Allegiance Gold. Now, as we close in on the election, it's really no surprise that Donald Trump is gaining support among all Americans, especially the working class. While many Americans are struggling, the Biden administration continues to attempt to gaslight the American people, saying that the economy has never been better. And we all know that our country is facing challenges. Among those is inflation, rising debt, and rising uncertainty in the markets. There's a reason why so many of you guys watching have invested in gold, because it stands on its own as a beacon of stability and also over the last five years, it's almost doubled in value. Allegiance Gold has done things the right way from the beginning, so it's really no coincidence that they've earned the highest trust ratings in the precious metals industry. They have five stars with TrustLink and an A plus with the Better Business Bureau. They can help protect your IRA or 401k with physical gold and silver, or if you prefer, you can have it delivered securely to your doorstep. And here's the best part, you guys. Right now, get up to $5,000 in free silver on a qualifying investment when you visit protectwithclug.com or call 866-335-KLUG. Make sure you are protecting your financial future today. Visit protectwithclug.com. That is protectwithclug.com or call 866-335-KLUG. I'll put a link down in the description below. Let's get back to this video. Trump, stay your ass at the house. They want you. They want you, bro. Why are people trying to murder Donald Trump? two times in the last couple months. Why are they, they doing this? All his charges. Okay. I don't know. Really? They had, they he had haters. hella charges. I don't know. Okay. They some haters, man. They mad because that man got that bread. That's what it is. He's got ops is what we're saying. Yeah, he got them real ops. The real ops. The, not the ops the people rapping about ops. We talking about real ops. He does, got people hating on him. Does that make him more attractive to you guys, the fact that these psycho people keep trying <laughs> to kill him? I mean, is he doing something right? What's going on? I mean, he, he must, must be. be. So for people to hate him like that, he must be. If Donald Trump were standing here right now, what would your message to him be? I'll give you this one. Either stay in the house or get a better Secret Service team yeah, that's going to save you. I'm talking about before you come into wherever you coming from, make sure they do a whole city sweep on every building first with helicopters and people in the buildings going level to level, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you, if you, you know what I'm saying? If this keep happening, eventually somebody gonna end up killing them. That's honesty, you know what I'm saying? Like, huh. it, I, I, you know what I'm saying? They're being want, honest there, yeah. They want the young man dead, you know? And, and the thing about it is, I don't, I, I'm not a voter. I'm not about to vote for shit. I promise you I'm not. But I really feel like the world need to focus on themselves out here, really, honestly, you know what I'm saying? Like, I give it to Trump, like, he want people to work. like. Why, why should you get this if you ain't even trying to work for it? You know what I'm saying? Like, he like he worked for his shit. No matter if he got a business, presidency, none of that shit. He working every day for his shit. It's just the fact that you got more people sitting on their ass and less people working. You know what I'm saying? We had a big breaking news story today. Did you hear what it was? Yeah, when uh, someone tried to assassinate Trump That's again. Right. Yes. And so this is the second time in the last couple months. And yeah. I just want to know, what are your thoughts about that? Well, the mainstream media really made Trump look bad, and they put a lot of rhetoric, rhetoric out there saying that he's like, you know, the enemy of the American people, when in actual reality, he's not. So I believe a lot of these people that are like emotionally charged because of the mainstream media, that's why these people, these whack jobs, go out and do what they do. Now, so you're, you're holding mainstream media at least partially accountable. Uh, for a responsible, I mean, for the uh, multiple attempted assassinations on Donald Trump. Why I is would, that? I would say some. Yeah. Why, yes. why? Why is that? Because of what they say about him. So the the Democratic Party is dividing the country. That's a fact. A lot of my friends are Democrats, old school Democrats, and here's what's happening: they're not voting for Kamala, they're voting for Trump. And, you know, I don't want my gun rights taken from me, bro. I don't want to be a third world country. You know, I had a guy that was telling me a little uh, a moment ago that he believes that this all started the rhetoric, the, 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 you know, cranking up the volume when it comes to political divide all started with Donald Trump. What would you say to that guy? 100% wrong. See, the thing of it is, is when I was hanging out with a lot of his friends, oh my gosh, 
and a lot of a lot of black people that love Trump back in the day, and they still do to this day. They they told me that he's not he's not a racist, not even a little bit. And we're talking about Muhammad Ali's widow, okay? And everybody was there, and Orange County were hanging out together, and they all it's all rhetoric. It's all a bunch of 100% lies. But the American people need to do their own research, and you got to do it because you can't trust the mainstream media. Now I got friends of mine that work for Channel 5 and Channel 11 that are good people and that voted for Trump. But if they say that they voted for Trump, they'd be fired. Now, come on, why is that? Last question for you, I wanna know, uh, if Trump was here right now, what would your message to him be? I would be praying for him and, and just, you know, just saying, hey, the Lord Jesus has protected you at this time from getting murdered. And we, you got the Christian church throughout the United States and the entire world praying for you. Initial thoughts, man. I mean, it wasn't even close by him. So, I mean, I, I think that think that all of America know when it comes time to re-election, we get a whole lot of stuff that's really not, that it doesn't have any bearing about making America great, right? I think we need to stick to that and we need to stop uh, talking about the stuff that comes off like a sitcom news or something that you will see on TV for entertainment. You know, this is all about making America better for Americans, you know, so I think that's what we need to focus on and that's my initial thoughts. Yeah, um, I mean, it, it, so, so you are, it sounds like you're, you're pretty, you, you like Donald Trump. I wouldn't say that. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the last debate, but how many times that even we had the host of the debate letting him know the stuff that he was saying was just fictitious and false. Yeah. Uh, I think that us as in the, the public, right, sometimes if we're not well abreast on really what's going on out there, we will believe whatever sounds good to yeah. our, our feelings, right? But we really need to do our homework. And we really need to go ahead and, and, and see what would really be better for your county or wherever uh, you're staying at. And then you would know which which person is uh, pretty much uh, going to go ahead and suit your lifestyle. I mean, right there, I love what you're saying about doing your homework. Because, uh -huh. yes, I totally agree. I think more people need to be educated and understanding what the pol policy positions are, what their history was, what their record's been, right. and, and make your decision based on that. But back to the assassination attempt today. Uh -huh. The person was about, the person was engaged uh, by Secret Service at about 300 to 500 yards uh, away. Yeah, they had an AK-47. They had plates there ready for the, they were in their position ready for Donald Trump. So they were waiting for Donald Trump and the person was about, it's still an estimated, I guess, we'll get more specific later, uh -huh. but 300 to 500 yards away, which is fairly close. Um, but they were waiting and then they got engaged by Secret Service. So yes, it would be classified as an attempt. He didn't fire a shot though. He right, ran right. away and he's mm -hmm. captured now. Right, right, yeah. right. So yeah. what do you, I mean, you, you said you said maybe don't focus on that. What do you think? I mean, that's a little bit crazy. Well, Two assassination attempts in 60 days. Well, you know what? And, and this is, again, all the news that you're watching, because uh, the thread that I read, yeah. it said that it was, um, it was a gunman that was close, but it wasn't in the area of Donald Trump, which was what I read this morning. So, and that's the thing, man. It's just like with news, period. Whatever news station that you're listening to, you know, these news uh, channels, man, they they get their money from whatever type of political party that's backing them. So that's what the news is going to be skewed to. So you just, uh, it's, it's all about doing your homework. And without me knowing too much about it, you know, maybe this guy was just setting up trying to go ahead and shoot some birds or something like that, man. <laughs> I'm joking, but seriously, man. Secret Service has now confirmed, though. I hear you. That it was, they were waiting for Donald Trump. I, I hear you. I hear um, you. They, but you're right. I mean, we don't need, we don't know too much. It right. is important to be asking all the questions and making sure that you're getting to the facts instead of just whatever the narrative is. Exactly. But I will say, Secret Service has and the FBI have confirmed that this was an attempt so on Donald this, Trump's life. The first so what, what do you think about that? So even with the, hearing that, right? Yeah. The first time that it happened when it first came out, we heard that a guy actually shot at Donald Trump, right, on the first initial attack. And then after that research was done, we heard that uh, the bullet actually hit the glass and it was probably a shard that actually caught his ear. Of, uh, of the bullet? Of the bullet, right? Yeah. Well, no, Wait. actually not even of the bullet. It was a shard from the glass. They said it wasn't even a bullet that hit him. They said, what they said was, and this was the, the, the CIA that was saying this, the director, he said it was not a bullet that hit him, so we don't believe that he was shot. They said that it, what it looks like is that the shard from the podium that he was at actually caught the corner of his ear. But at first, you know, we heard uh, that it was assassination attempt. 
which is somebody still shot close to you. I mean, that's that's an assassination attempt. Someone uh, died in, behind. Somebody Trump. did die, right? Somebody, somebody did die. So, so you know, uh, it, it was a very real event. But still, and yet, when it first unfolded, uh, people can say it, it looked like this or it looked like that, and then until all the news come out. I just don't if know. I can, if I can add to that, mm -hmm. I, I do want to add some context on that. The official report from the FBI was that a bullet did, in fact, hit Donald Trump in the ear. They can't prove whether or not it was a part of a bullet or the full bullet, but it did, in fact, nick his ear. It was not the... Um, it, this is their report, right? We can say we can believe whatever, but this is their report saying what it was 100%. That, that was a handful of days after the assassination attempt. Exactly. So, and that's what I'm but saying. That was after the ricochet or the glass or whatever rumor that was that being was not spread. The final report, correct? The one you mentioned was not the final report. Yes, it was. The one that I mentioned, what I mean by the final uh, well, report. If I'm wrong, I'll correct myself on yeah, the screen. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, this happened months. This was about a month after it happened. And when it was uh, when it came down to after the full investigation happened, uh, the director got up there and he went ahead and he stated, um, and he he didn't have any any for sure's right, and he said this is what we're thinking that happened. It wasn't a for sure, uh, but what he did say for sure was that it was not a bullet. Uh, but when it first came out, you're exactly right. When it first came out a couple of days after the event unfolded, uh, it was uh, news that it was a bullet that actually uh, hit Donald Trump, and that's what everyone was thinking. Oh my God, you know. Somebody just tried to kill a guy. Does that take away from the fact that it was a very real assassination no, attempt? I don't, I don't believe that, that. I don't believe that takes it away. But what would add credence to this, right, is yeah, when a person uh, paints it as in um, they do state that they was actually shot. Uh, they do state that it was actually a bullet that hit him. Um, so even if it was a bullet or if it wasn't a bullet, right, um, I would like for my president to tell me, well, look, a guy tried to shoot me, but it was actually a shard because then I know that this guy right here, no matter how good he thinks that an angle would work for him, he's willing to tell the truth. Uh, so I think that with a person that, that holds that, that job at hand, you would want this guy to be straight up and honest with you at all times because this is not a place for a dictatorship, right? right. Yeah, I got a question for you. When it comes to... Um, this will be the last one, man. I got to get over. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. You know, there's been a lot of talks about threats to democracy the last three and a half years. Do you think that yeah. these assassination attempts are a threat to democracy? What do you think? Uh, uh, you know what, man? I, I, I think that's a handful right there, right? Yeah. Because when you, when you read stuff like uh, the proposal that they state that different presidents have if they do get elected, uh, some of that stuff, I think, is a attack on democracy, right? You know, when, you, when you're hearing, when people are stating that we're going to make sure that police is able to do whatever they want to do while they have on that, 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 that shirt and whatever they do within action, it won't be counted up against them. That's kind of scary. Uh, are you talking about, are you referring to Project 2025 here or exactly no? I'm referring to Project 2025. That's exactly okay. what I'm talking about. I think that when, you're, when, you, when you have a bill like that, uh, that has, well, a plan like that, that has so much action packed. Our articles in it that's strictly going to take away a lot of our rights. I think people uh, should be weary of stuff like that, man, because that's not what America is about, right? Well, I mean, no, I wouldn't support anything like that where yeah. officers can just do whatever they want. I will say, uh, when it comes to Project 2025, mm -hmm. that is not Trump's policy platform. His he policy platform is Agenda 47 on his website. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean that, that's that's what he stated before. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 I mean, do you believe him? Um, uh, this is what I would say. Yeah. If you lie to me once, you're going to lie to me again. Uh, so it's kind of it's kind of like one of those type of things. But again, it goes back to doing your own research, right? Did you hear about the assassination attempt today? I did. Yeah. What did you think about it? It's horrible. I mean, horrible. Should, guy never should have gotten that close. Uh, I don't you know. Yeah, I think the reports are showing... You know, about 300, to, we'll get a specific number, but 300 to 500 yards away. It's obviously closer than somebody should be. Secret Service failed them again. I think they're letting it happen. You know, there's a group of people probably that want them gone. And uh, they're just letting it happen. They're, yeah. they're not stopping these things. And that's a horrible thing. What do you see as being the primary reason for these assassination attempts? Do you see it as it being allowed to happen, trying to get rid of Trump? Do you see it as, uh, you know, crazy people that just hate Trump? Uh, what do you see well, it we as? We definitely have a group of hit people that hate Trump, right? There's so, no doubt about that. And if you just let them do whatever the hell they want, that somebody's going to try to take them out, record himself on a GoPro, and, and get famous. I think that's... Uh, yeah, I say you got to have better, a better Secret Service, better, better police defense, better perimeter. It's insane. The yeah. other attempt, 
I can't believe it. Would you like to see Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, you know, allow Donald Trump's team to get even more security of course, detail? Of course, it's, it's a crime that they don't. It's a crime they took it from RFK, I, you know, that he didn't have it for a while. It's a crime that they took it away when he dropped out. It's been at several attempts. It's a dangerous country. So, yeah, no, I think it's a failure of the very least, you know, leadership at the Secret Service, maybe a part. But on the other hand, the rhetoric in the country is too high. I'd love to see both both sides take it down. You know, I don't I don't like the way Trump demonizes people. I don't, you know, I wish he wouldn't do that. You know, I mean, the whole Haitian thing could have been handled in, you know, it was a town being overwhelmed, you know, 60,000 people getting, uh, but no, he talks about dogs getting eaten. Well, he's, did, he's, it did he's, bring that. He's, he's a fool. For the, he it did bring a, that, that community to the center focus for the nation. So I guess, I guess it kind of worked. You know, he, he, if he loses the election over it because he looks like a fool, I don't think it worked, right? Uh, there's a certain decorum, you know, a president's got to have. And uh, I just, I, I, I'm ready to just, I'm ready to switch parties, but I can't with Trump. I can't do it. Even though he's in the right a lot and it's horrible what happened today. And somebody's out to kill him. And I think that's maybe, I don't know what that is, but. Yeah. You would consider yourself more of a Democrat. I mean, I've traditionally always voted Democrat, yeah. Always for RFK. And in the main part where you're losing Donald Trump, you would say, and I'm just asking you this, is uh, the rhetoric. Well. Because his policies aren't that I'm extreme. Trying to overthrow, you know, January 6th was a, was a, was a cross line for me. You, you said January 6th was where you lost Donald Trump. I mean, that's certainly not uncommon, I would say, for a lot of people. I think the biggest argument when it comes to Donald Trump is looking at that and saying, how are how are we defining this incitement? Was it incitement or was it was it you know? Do you, did you see him calling for that or no? And also, what do you what do you consider January 6 as being? Do you think it was a riot? Do you think it was a, an insurrection? Do you think it was a coup? What do you think it was? Fire in a crowded theater. I think it, I think it was like yelling fire in a crowded theater. He knew he knew he was hoping they would get overwhelmed with a million people, and he was hoping that would happen. That's what I believe he tried to do. That he just wanted to overwhelm the Capitol with as many diehards as possible, and uh, it didn't go his way. Yeah. To me, that was I'm an American before anything else, and, and uh, that was a lie. That was now. You've obviously heard Trump saying in that speech before they oh, yeah. marched out of the Capitol, peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Um, when it comes to that, do you I'm think the, I'm that. The bank robbers would say, you know, I was stealing it from my mother who was hungry. I mean, of course he's going to say things to try to, once he realized, no, 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 no. once he realized no, that they didn't get overwhelmed. No, no, it was before they did that. He told them to go over there and peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Uh, have you heard that before? I'm only bringing this up because I'm asking if you heard it before or no. Yeah, of course, I've definitely heard okay. it, but, but just like you don't like cherry picking things, right? Like they, Trump gets cherry picked all the time. Yeah. This is a classic case of cherry picking, but to say that he didn't incite a riot to, to go to Washington on January 6th is, you know, I didn't believe in the Russia, Russia, Russia. I mean, it's, it, to me, it's just it's like he come. You know, I mean, Ashley Babbitt, I, I find... Well, what would count as incitement in that case, do you think? I'm just trying to figure out where you're coming from here. What, what counts as no, incitement he, there? He was go, go down there and, and, and it'll be wild and, and uh, you know. I mean, we could talk about January 6th all the time. I think that conversation's been had. People either don't care about it or they do. I used to cover riots. That's why when I see certain things, right. yeah, I, I, I was I was more afraid at other riots than I was at January 6. I was reporting on January 6. Where was the National Guard? All right, the Dems should. I mean, there should have been. Again, they let it happen. I'm yeah. not a conspiracy theorist, yeah. but the thing you keep hearing over and over again, they let it happen. They let it happen. They let it happen. Well, yeah, it, it, they, they did. They, they did a uh, push to have about 10,000 guardsmen there that day, and that was for some reason completely tabled. Yeah, um, I don't know why that was. That's messed up. That's, yeah. that was wrong. So I think you know they let it happen. Does that surprise yeah. you that that happened like, a second time in about two months? No, I think the media creates this stuff. It creates the rhetoric. Um, I'm from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, close to where the first shooting happened, and. Yeah. I mean, it's it's sad to see. I mean, it's it tr Trump's for America, and I mean, this other candidate, Kamala Harris, and the whole de Democratic Party. I mean, they're they're allowing illegals into this country. Their the, their rhetoric in general is just awful. And so, if you if you like America, I mean, I think it's Trump 2024, man. Why do you think they keep trying to kill Donald Trump? 
because they can't beat them. They, they know they can't beat them. And so they try to impeach him. They try to bring charges against him. And now what's next? Kill him. So that's, that's what they're trying to do. Uh, if Donald Trump were here right now, what would your message to him be? Keep fighting, stay strong. Well, the question is how many more times are they going to try? And the reason this is happening is because the media has got people whipped in, into such a frenzy thinking that Trump is Satan, Trump is the next Hitler, and none of it's based on any evidence. So I think the media has a lot of responsibility in this. And it's becoming an issue where it's not just political or a difference of opinion, it's becoming a public safety issue. And if you study history, the last time this happened was in the 1930s in Germany when Hitler's propaganda minister, Joseph Goebbels, got the German public all whipped up into a frenzy, thinking that Jews are parasites and monsters and all kinds of other horrible things. And there's videos of Jews being marched through the streets and German people are spitting on them and throwing things at them. So my question for you then is, do you hold the media responsible for this escalating violence in the country when it comes to uh, these assassination attempts that we're seeing, or, or no? They're playing a big role in it. Now, partly, you know, the individuals that are doing this, they're the mainly responsible, but the media is playing a huge role in this. You see this guy right here. Where is all that hate coming from? What did he do to them? So we're going down a very dangerous path as a country. I, I do want to know, when it comes to your message to uh, how to calm these tensions that we're seeing in the country right now, what would you recommend when it comes to, okay, hey, cooling things down? Uh, turn off your phone, turn off your TV, close your laptop, and go out and look around and see what's really going on in the world. I mean, get out here. Touch grass, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. And then if Donald Trump was here right now, what would your message to him be? How are you going to get elected? <laughs> because you know they're going to they're going to try to rig it any way they can. Hmm. And it seems like votes don't count anymore. Are you going to vote? I am going to vote regardless. And I think it's very important that if you recognize what he's done for this country already, that you show your support publicly before, during, and after the election, regardless of what the official result is, regardless of what the media says. I got one more thing for you, man. Do you mind if I show you this? I just want to show you this report from MSNBC today, and I just want your, your thoughts on it. MSNBC suggests it's the Trump campaign who needs to tone down the rhetoric following a shooting at Trump Golf Club where Trump was playing golf. Do you expect to hear anything from the Trump campaign about toning down the rhetoric, toning down the violence, or would that be atypical of uh, the former president? So right there, they're just talking no, about I toning can... down, like calling on him to tone down no. uh, the rhetoric, or at least asking if he's going to. Do you think that that is the proper response following this assassination attempt, or no, what are your thoughts? They're projecting their sins because the rhetoric's coming from them. They're one of the worst offenders. If you listen to what Trump's actually saying, he's the unifier. He's saying, I don't care what color your skin is, we're all Americans, we gotta pull together. He's not advocating violence. On January 6th, he told his supporters, I want you to peacefully and patriotically go to the Capitol and make your voices heard. That's completely protected by the Constitution. He's never advocated violence. The rhetoric's coming from MSNBC, ABC, NBC, CBS, The New York Times, The Guardian. It's coming from them. So for MSNBC to saying it's the Trump campaign's fault is just obscenely hypocritical. All right, everyone, that is it for today. So we had a ton of mixed responses. As of right now, this is still definitely a developing story. But let me know what you guys thought about the conversations down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And hit that bell notification button so you're notified next to my post. I'll catch you all in the next video. What are his thoughts about uh, the assassination attempt on Donald Trump today? Yeah. You're a good boy. <laughs>